Okay, in example 1a of chapter 11.2, trigonometry, okay, we will learn how to identify our theta as well as our basic angle alpha. Okay, so question says, state the quadrant of angle theta and find the value of the basic angle alpha. Okay, so since theta is 250 degrees, okay, let us recall how we measure theta. So starting from here, over here, okay, we will measure in an anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so going, going, this is 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and then before I reach to the 270 degrees mark, okay, this is my theta. Okay, so this is theta, and as you can see, we are in the tangent quadrant, also known as the third quadrant. Okay, so theta is 250 degrees, so we are in the third quadrant. And what is the basic angle alpha? Okay, so I'm just going to use a red pen to show you where is alpha. Alpha is always measured with respect to the horizontal axis. Okay, so this is my alpha. Okay, over here. So this is alpha. Okay, so how do we find alpha? Recall that for the third quadrant, theta is 180 degrees plus alpha. Okay, so since theta in this case is 250 degrees, this is 250 degrees equals to 180 degrees plus alpha. Okay, so alpha is just 250 degrees minus 180 degrees, which is just 70 degrees. Okay, and this solves the second part of this example. Okay, let's move on to example 1b. Okay, so now, similar question, state the quadrant of theta and uh, find the value of the basic angle. Oh, now we have a negative value for theta. So for a negative value, okay, how do we go? Okay, so recall that for positive values, we always move in an anti-clockwise direction, remember? Okay, so for negative values, okay, what we will do, we will move in, a, in the opposite direction. Okay, so instead of moving that way, I'm going to move this way. So this way. Okay, so since theta is negative 60, I will still be over, I will still, I will still be in this uh, quadrant. Okay, so this is my theta. Okay, so we are moving in the opposite direction as per what we usually do. Okay, as compared to what we usually do. Okay, so this angle theta is negative 60 degrees. Okay, and I'm just going to drop a triangle over here. Okay, so where is alpha? Okay, so where is alpha? So recall that alpha is always in the, it's always, sorry, it's always measured respect to the horizontal axis. So this angle is my alpha. Okay, so in this case, theta happens to be alpha. Okay, and alpha is always an acute angle that is positive. So alpha is just 60 degrees. And the quadrant that we're in is the fourth quadrant. Okay, as you can see, we're in the cosine quadrant. Okay, let's move on to example 1c. Okay, state the qu quadrant of the angle theta and find the value of basic angle alpha. Okay, so let us do this example over here. So, theta is 390 degrees. So, how do we go 390 degrees? So, recall that we're going to go in an anti-clockwise direction for starting from here. So, this is 90. Okay, count along with me, okay? 180, 270, 360, and we're still moving on, we're still moving on, so back to here, so somewhere here, okay? So 390 degrees will be, okay, so maybe just write it out, so 390 degrees is 360 degrees plus 30 degrees, okay? So this angle here, this one, uh, is 30 degrees. Okay, so we are once again back in the all quadrant. Okay, so we are in the first quadrant. So we're in the first quadrant. Okay, and what is my alpha? Okay, so alpha, I would like to use my red pen. So alpha is always measured with respect to the horizontal axis. So alpha is here. Okay, so alpha in this case is just 30 degrees. Okay, okay, let's move on. Okay, so before I move on to uh, more examples in the next video, okay, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, for more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See ya!